Arctic shock, melting ice caps are fueling extreme weather across the United States, Tom Fish Express UK reports. The Arctic Sea is declining. It's now linked to extreme weather events in the UK and elsewhere. Landmark study has now discovered the Arctic Sea ice thickness, coverage and volume has been decimated over the last 40 years. Man-made climate change continues. Old sea ice used to comprise 30% of all the sea ice within the Arctic Circle, the Arctic Ocean, but today almost all of the older sea ice is gone. It's replaced by fresher, thinner ice, and that thinner ice is more susceptible to climate change. A new study now finds and has warned of a link between vanishing sea ice coverage and, of course, an increased incident of deadly summer heat waves across the southern USA. A new study has explored how seasonal ice, sea ice coverage fluctuations are triggering changes in atmospheric circulation patterns, the, the air currents, of course, in a climate characterized by long winters and short summers. And we see that, unfortunately, happening is still going on in the United States. The study examined 40 years of satellite data of Arctic sea ice coverage collected cross-reference with data showing heat wave frequency in the United States over the same period. It's not just the U.S., it's also uh, Northern Europe, of course, all along the areas south of the Arctic Circle. Now, the researchers found a strong statistical relationship between the extent of summer sea ice in the Hudson Bay of Canada and heat waves across the southeastern United States. Dr. Dagmar Badikova, climatologist at Illinois State University, and the study leader author said, the latest research on this topic suggests that declining Arctic sea ice may be linked to increased incident of extreme weather patterns across the northern hemisphere. That's it. Extreme weather across the northern hemisphere. They said, our results confirm this hypothesis by offering further evidence that the Arctic sea ice variability has potential to influence extreme summer temperatures and the frequency of heat waves across the southern United States. Dr. Badikova believes a better understanding of the physical relationships could allow scientists to better forecast heat wave prone summers. She said, if, our, if the Arctic sea ice continues to decline as predicted, then we could expect more summer heat waves across the southern U.S. in the future. Now, her study has revealed the loss of Arctic ice, sea ice begins with warmer than usual spring temperatures in the southeastern Canadian Arctic. Dr. Badikova said, this process starts when temperatures across the southeastern Canadian Arctic and northwestern Arctic are 2 degrees Celsius warmer than expected in March, April, and May. This springtime warming lessens north to south change in temperature between the high and middle latitudes of eastern North America, and it leads to the reduction in the strength of regional wind patterns. These conditions are consequence of weakened large-scale movements of air that appear to continue in the summer months. The weakened circulation affects the jet stream, and leading to the formation of persistent high-pressure systems over the southern U.S. The presence of such atmospheric blocks ultimately promotes unseasonal surface and atmospheric warming, resulting in heat waves. Heat waves can last for days or weeks, as high-pressure zones slow wind and prevent clouds and other weather systems from entering the area. Badikova said, local humidity soil moisture and precipitation conditions are shown to influence the flavor of the heat waves which are more likely to be oppressive in the south and eastern United States and extreme across the southern plains during summers experiencing sea ice extent. The cutting-edge computer modeling will next be used to confirm the statistical relationship between the Arctic sea ice coverage and summer heat waves. Dr. Badikova and her study lead author said, general circulation models would further elucidate the processes that are taking place in the atmosphere to drive these connections.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.